All right, I'm back. And this time we got Turkey Loaf Meal Combat Individual with a B3A unit. This box is in terrible shape. Check this out, right? If I pick it up, it'll fall out from the bottom. So like this one leaked. I'm not sure of the condition. I like actually did not open it at all just because I wanted to surprise myself on this one. I didn't examine a thing. When I picked it up, it came from a staff sergeant that served during Vietnam. He brought a case home with him. And this is one of those. Oh, nice. Accessory packet with the cigarettes, matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, coffee, instant cream, substitute, sugar, salt, and an interdental stimulator. Keeping it classy. Nice. And then an old school spoon. Okay. Oh, God. What did that used to be? It was some sort of jam. I don't even know if I want to open that. It's just going to smell like a bag of pennies and rot. Trust me. Um, well, that's always good. Just some loose leaking uh ooh, rancid old school cocoa beverage powder type one fortified class one i always love the old military names for these things they got these like long unnecessarily long boring names you know it's like the ugh. all right so what oh january 1969 so that's a nice classic all right going down the line this part of the cardboard separator broke off Ooh, there you go. What the heck did this used to be? Ah, pineapple bits. I've never seen that before. And this one's just brimming with botulism. Ooh, that's always nice. And the world's renowned turkey loaf. You know, life isn't complete until you open up a sea ration turkey loaf. And this one here, again. Oh, November 68. That was a good time. Let's see here. Uh, ugh, ugh. you know, we're going to dig in and see what we can chow down on. Certainly none of this stuff. Other than maybe the B3. I don't know about the cocoa pe beverage powder. And that jam is just, oh man, I don't know what to say about that. <sighs> it's pretty gnarly. And the cocoa beverage powder, I don't think originally came in the box loose like that. I think someone took it out of sometimes B2 units instead of cheese, it was cocoa beverage powder. And I've had cocoa beverage powder from 75 that was perfectly good back in February on a camping trip. Um, you know, so sometimes they're good, but this one's got a hole in it, so that's never a good sign. Um, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right. Well, this thing, look at that. It's like a little. <laughs> anyway, looking good. Where do I start? Oh, we start with a P38 can opener, and we open, oh, let me put gloves on and a mask, just in case this thing, I feel like I'm going to need eye protection for it. <laughs> Alright, mask is on, you know, I just can't get enough of this, and I know it's going to lead to my downfall one day, but yeah, got to throw some gloves back on, in the meantime, live in the moment. And open up some rations. You know, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Oh, jeez, I'm already ripping these gloves. I should have gotten purple nitrile gloves. Yeah, heck. So put it on anyway. But in the meantime, let's chow down. Let's start with the turkey loaf first. I remember one guy in that movie Platoon, he was complaining about turkey loaf. Like he was like the unlucky guy that always ended up with it. Let's see what he was griping about. Oh, even with my mask, I can smell that. It smells like rotten poultry. Oh, oh that's so bad. Oh, man. Why? Why? Okay. No way. Oh, that's a train wreck. But you can't help but though. Keep on watching. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, look at the congealed fats and stuff. Oh, that's a real winner. Uh, it smells awful. It just smells like complete rot. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do with that thing. But I do know what to do next. I'm going to open this up. 
Um, should I face it this way? It's probably a good idea. I'm scared. Like, you're hearing me say that. Uh, okay, whew, that wasn't so bad. So far, out of everything I've done, for some reason, that had me more worried than anything else. I just did not want old botulism filled pineapple juice flying into one of my eyeballs. I can't even cut through it. Ugh. Okay. Um, here, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, look at that. Oh boy, what am I doing with my life? Okay, let's just start on this side and then... You know... This is pretty crazy. I've never seen pineapple bits in a MCI before. I know it's crazy, I'm opening this too and trying to what's going on. Ah, ah, crud. I think I just cut myself. Eh. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, jeez. Uh, good thing I'm wearing gloves. I think that actually protected me a little bit. Come on, then cut through. There we go. I think I got it. Yes. Somebody in the comments, it's an RN, said please wear gloves. I think you just saved me. Cause, uh, yeah, oh man. Ugh. Some like 47 year old pineapple bits. Oh gosh, look at that. That's so gnarly, it looks like coal. Uh -uh. Alright, let's move that over. Nicely done. All right. Hold on. I gotta wash this off real quick. Man, I did cut myself on that. <sighs> yeah. See. That sucks, man. Anyway. Let's see. Ah. Oh, this is kind of nice. Vanilla cream. Huh. That's pretty nice. I'm not opening up the jam. I'm sorry. There's just no point. I'm going to be wrapping this up in a minute after having a nice smoke. Oh, that smells so foul. I'm not even going to try and eat that. Trust me. That is no good. All right. Seriously. It smells like 10 times more foul than that fudge bar we just checked out on the last one. I might have to start using, oh good, Marlboros again, nice. These things are always good. I was kind of hoping we'd get some uh, Newports. Cause I've had Newports from back in the day. It smells kind of sour in there. All right, let's see, is there an interdental stimulator? Did they jip you on it? Oh yeah, so one of those where the, they, say, they list interdental stimulator, but there isn't one. Pretty much the coffee instant again, you know. Standard United Instant Coffee Corporation. Might as well, you know, might as well enjoy it. Might be my last. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried about this. I mean, I'm usually not all too concerned about this sort of thing. I was, I had a bad feeling about that pineapple, but yeah, that's, that's just kind of a shame. I'm going to skip the creamer. I, I'm not a big fan of creamer anyway. But let's just do it up. Oh. Oh, while we're at it, might as well break into this thing and see what it looks. Oh, it's just... Oh, man. There you go. Nice. Oh, man, there's just something nasty about that this time. I don't know. Ugh. Well, this one was pretty bad, and I'm not going to mess with the cocoa beverage powder. See, look, if you want to see it, 
it's it's just whatever it's nasty it's been opened up pinhole got into it yeah it smells like metallic it's just yeah it's just cocoa beverage powder there's nothing too crazy about it now I'm probably gonna save these Marlboros for another time maybe on the next MCI video because really we just did some Marlboros and unfortunately instead of out of the you know I guess it's at least a dozen varieties in MCI's of cigarettes we got another pack of Marlboros I think they were the most common too I mean I've opened up probably about 10 to 15 MCI accessory packets in the past few years and Marlboro's seem to turn up in about one out of every three packs, so it is pretty common. They are really good smokes, but we're going to go for a food packet of salt, Philip Morris, and um, it's pretty cool. Guest package, not for sale, sample. It's hard to read, and you push that side, and well, let's just open this up. You know, instead of being redundant, giving you the same cigarette, review as the last MCI with cigarettes. Maybe it's something a little different now. This is pretty firmly in there. Hmm. There we go. The press pretty hard. Oh, I don't know. Well, hopefully these are in okay enough shape to smoke. It's just kind of uh, brittly paper. Okay. No big deal. They look good. Mmm, they smell delicious. I mean, there's just nothing like a good old age cigarette. I got these from a lady. She pulled them out of some old food packet individual salts and just sold the cigarettes and like pretty much, I think, trashed the rest of it thinking it was just old food and no idea what happened to the packaging or anything. She just, she didn't know either really. All right, let's try out an old smoke. Now these here for, were from um, between 1949 and 1952. She didn't know the date of production, so it's kind of an unknown date. I can't say it's the oldest cigarette ever smoked or anything, but we can, uh, in, we can enjoy it nonetheless. Well, on the dry pull, it tastes slightly minty. Different from any other uh, cigarette on the dry pull that I've had yet on any of these. It's pretty cool. Well, hmm, yeah, that's different. Very mild flavor. As with any of these old smokes, there's nothing harsh. Like you can, hmm, you just want to get another drag. You just can't help yourself. It's just so good. When tobacco ages, it gets smoother. I mean, every time I just get, blows my mind every time I have one of these things. And this Philip Morris is better than the Marlboro I had last time, but it doesn't have as sweet and honey-like of a flavor as the Camel. There you go with that. Check this out. Philip Morris Limited Special Blend. And it is a special blend. Mm. Oh, I know what it tastes like. Cedar. It tastes like cedar. That is exactly it. It tastes like cedar, very mild tobacco, and that's it. And it's very smooth. Smoothest cigarette I've ever had. And I thought that um, that Chesterfield or the Camels or the Marlboros, I still got to say, I can't wait till I can find some old Newports for you guys because I don't even like menthols, and those things have me sold. I mean, it has, like, natural oils and whatnot of, you know, menthol oil in it opposed to whatever it is they put in old, you know, modern Newports. But this is an exquisite smoke. But in the meantime, we're going to move on to the next MCI in this series. Plenty of other rations coming up, so stay tuned.